so now let us talk about refraction at spherical surfaces and then after that we will be going through how to derive the lens formula so for that first let's take a spherical surface with this is my spherical surface now this is the two medium this is medium one medium one and this is medium two medium two okay so now let's understand how refraction works in a spherical surface because this is very important because the glasses the power glasses that we wear is dependent upon this phenomenon so what happens is like reflection in spherical surface we have a principal axis so now say suppose in your from your principal axis says this is your point o now what happens is this o say, say suppose a ray is traveling from the point o now after striking this surface there may be two things either it can be reflected back or it will be refracted back so if i take a normal if i take a normal say suppose we are taking a normal normal on the point of contact on the point of incidence then this normal then this angle this is angle theta or you can say this is angle i because this is the angle of incidence angle of incidence angle of incidence i and this angle is equal to the angle made from the normal that is from the point of contact if we draw a normal the angle that is being made is known as angle of incidence and i think we have discussed this many a times so what happens is say suppose this is refractive index of medium 1 and this is refractive index of medium 2 n1 and n2 so we know it will undergo refraction and this ray will travel somewhere over here this ray will travel somewhere over here so it meets this say at a point i let's say now we know if i draw if i extend the line from the normal to a point then i'll have my c that is my center of curvature c and this c is given by the radius of the spherical surface we know if this is a spherical surface if i cut this part still if i draw a normal it will pass through the center that is c so this is what radius of curvature this is radius of curvature and the distance of any point of any point is always r this is always r so this distance is also you can say this is also r so now this is the normal this is a normal so what is this angle making this angle that is angle r is the angle of refraction angle of refraction this is angle of refraction okay so now let this point this point be m we are supposing this point be m and there is another thing that we are deriving is that this length if we draw a straight line this distance is very small so we can say that from the point n if we draw a straight line that is perpendicular we will have this as approximately nm see suppose this is x see suppose this is x so nx is approximately equal to nm and the distance between mx tends to zero so these are some of the approximation that we have considered so now moving further what we have is if you look at the angle if you look at say suppose 10 of angle n o m now keep in mind this is making a right angle triangle this are making a right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle so now we are talking about angle n o m n o m what is angle n o m this is perpendicular by base so 
nm upon this side om so this is what we can understand we know perpendicular by base say suppose this is perpendicular this is base and this is hypotenuse this is theta so tan theta is nothing but your perpendicular upon base so by using this we have derived this now if you look at tan angle of ncm n cm if you're looking at this tan n cm this will be given by perpendicular mn mn upon nm mn so it does not matter this to us same please keep in mind upon mc upon mc this is your mc another thing that we, that we can take is angle n i m angle n i m if you look at 10 of angle n i m it will be given as n i m will be given as this angle this length m n upon m i upon m i so this are some of the derivations that we have made so far so let's see what we can further derive so now if you look at our previous slide what we had was this this was o this was o this was n a line of this was c that is center of curvature and a different line that was i a different line that was i and this was m so we had all of this now if you consider if you consider triangle noc NOC triangle NOC now if you consider this triangle this particular triangle if you look at the external angle if you look at the external angle what is x what is this angle if you look what is this angle this is angle I so in a way this is angle I so what we can say is that if this is angle I then we can see that I is the X exterior angle then this I angle I is the exterior angle exterior angle now we use the trigonometric sorry we use the theorem for exterior angle say suppose this is triangle A B C so if you have this as an exterior angle so if this is exterior angle X therefore X is equal to sum of the two interior angles this is angle B plus angle A so this is the theorem that we use 